Let us begin. Importantly, it's a story about conquest and destruction. In fact, this is the tale of how I gained our home and all of our treasures. The rise of the Empire of Doomland. <laughs> cool. Like with most legends, fate had a big role to play. The path that opened before me showed me my goal. A kingdom of my own, ripe for the plucking. The land I found myself in was filled with sunshine and the scent of flowers and bloom. It was revolting. Contrast to my homeland, everything was so easily breakable. Oh. So satisfying. To conquer the land, I had to get rid of the stupid creatures that already lived there, and I was going to enjoy it. to the farmland, seeking more to quench my thirst for destruction. Satisfied with my work, I was ready to continue my journey. Although, there was still some stuff I could destroy if I wanted to go overkill. Thank <laughs> you. 
wish they put up a real fight. <laughs> Any good conqueror should. But the farmland was only the beginning of my journey, bringing me one step closer to my goal the castle. After wandering through endless fields, I finally came across a bigger settlement. Even from afar, I could hear a gathering of the creatures in there. They probably thought they were safer in numbers. <laughs> they were wrong! Remember, destruction is an art form. You should always consider how to best destroy the things around you. Oh. 
Made sure that the creatures could never rebuild. I was ready to get on with my journey. Now, spawnlings, what is the first rule when destroying a settlement? Oh, I know. It's it's uh, don't leave anyone alive. The castle was growing ever closer on the horizon, and with every step, so did my excitement for what I would find there. Finally, I was there, at the entrance of their city. Ah, I could already taste the sweet, sweet victory. And so, as a courtesy, I announced my arrival. Beware, puny creatures. Your new overlord is here! Thank you. 
brought to the goal of my quest, the castle. Did you ever get tired of destroying Grandpa? Even if I did, Margaret, you'll never eat those deer if you're slacking off. So there I was, blood pumping and pockets filled with yummy yummy loot, ready to enter what would soon become our home. But before I could end my quest, I had one last obstacle to overcome. The champion of the kingdom, winner of a thousand battles was not going to let me pass without a fight. However, to overcome this battle, I had to use more than my brawn.
And that is how I became the ruler of this land and everything within it. But, Grandpa, what happened once you got inside the castle? Uh, that is a story for another time. But, but what's the castle? Do not question your overlord, Spawnlings. Off to bed with you, now. Fine. Good night, Grandpa. And I lived happily ever after. The end.